Hello, I'm Steve Parola from New England Row, and today we're going to be discussing the concept of block loading. Block loading, or the use of pulleys of course, is when you redirect a force with a pulley and we want to know how much force the block itself sees. A block or pulley comes from the traditional style that you've probably seen before. We also have the, the marine or boating style pulley. We also have the rescue pulleys which are, are quite nice. The uh, rescue pulleys and the marine pulleys also come with multiple shifts. These blocks, as you see, have, have two shifts for, that you can attach them. To do our test to demonstrate this concept, along with the, uh, the pulleys or the blocks, we'll also need a digital scale for, for lifting and weighing things. We're going to be using some nice low stretch polyester rope, and of course we have our weight. We'll be using carabiners to make the connections as need be. So we'll start out first by showing how much our weight is. So the first step will be to confirm how much force our weight is. So we'll put our scale onto the weight and we'll lift. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces. So the next step in our test, we're going to show how a pulley can redirect a force. We've attached our weight by way of our low stretch polyester rope through our pulley. I've put a knot in here with a loop so I can attach our scale and we'll see how the force is. It should be the same force whether you're pulling it straight up at zero degrees, coming down 45, 90, 150, all the way to 180 degrees. We'll start at 180 degrees and see what it looks like. Let's move the scale on our angle to 150 degrees. And we'll move it up some more and get the angle changed to 90 degrees. And next we'll go to 45. And next, we'll move it, of course, to zero. So for the third part of our test, we're going to look at seeing what the loading is on our block or pulley. What I've done here, as you can see, is I've attached the scale directly to the top of our pulley. So when we apply a load, both the weight and my lifting, we can see how much of a load the pulley has. We're going to do this for all the same angles we did just before. We know what the force was when you had the scale here before when I was pulling, and of course we know what the weight is. So let's see what we have here. What we're going to do is we're going to start here at the 180 degrees. I've got the force that I'm applying with my hand. We've got the weight. I'll turn the scale so you can see how much force the pulley is saving. And it is as expected. Double the weight. The force is double the weight. As we go at various angles, we'll see how that changes. 150 degrees. We'll go out to 90 degrees. Turn the scale for you. Let's see. Here we go. Let that settle in. Now let's go up to 45 degrees. And next, let's go, of course, to zero. So what we demonstrated with our test was the concept of block loading, where as you change the angle, the load that the block sees also changes. Specifically, we went from 180 degrees, where we had double the load, going up through 90 to zero, the load got lower and lower. You can calculate that, and we have a table here that shows you how to make that calculation. You've got your turning angle, 180, right down through zero, and the block loading factor. 
So if you have a load of approximately 11 pounds, which is approximately what we had, obviously at 180 degrees you're going to have double that, or around 22 pounds. There's some friction in your system, so it'll vary slightly. When you get down to 135 degrees, you take your weight, 11 pounds, times your block loading factor of 1.84, and you get to approximately 20 pounds. The same goes as you go down. When you get to 90 degrees, you're in the range of approximately 15 and a half pounds by taking your 11 times your 1.41. And of course, when we got to 45 degrees, you take your 11 pounds times 0.76 and end up with approximately eight pounds. And of course, at zero, there's no additional factor. There's no load on the block. The rope is pulling it straight up. And it just happens to pass through the block.